hear her talk about, not to justify things, but to give a little background as to how things evolved into such chaos. Angela Polina did just that during her nearly two hours of testimony. She's charged with second degree murder and child endangerment in the death of eight year old Thomas Valva, her fiance's son. The boy died of hypothermia, freezing to death. His body temperature was 76.1 degrees after being forced to spend night after night on the bare floor of the garage of his home in sub-freezing temperatures, according to the medical examiner. The boy's father, ex-NYPD cop Michael Valva, forced the boy into those conditions that ultimately led to the child's death. That's what a jury concluded late last year when it convicted Michael Valva. He's serving 25 years to life now. On the stand, Polina said that she was part of that severe life for the boy who died and for his two brothers. I was bad, she testified. He put them in the garage and I agreed. And it was a punishment. How I was with him, I took it out on the boys. It was evil and horrible. I took it out on them by putting them in the garage. On the morning of January 17th, 2020, she testified, the boy's father hosed him off in freezing temperatures outside. Then, against her instructions, she said, Michael Valva put the boy into a warm bath, promoting a hypothermic shock. As I turned to look at him at this point, his eyes were closed, she testified about the boy. I called his name out. I called him again. I tapped him, and he didn't answer me. I said, Michael, he's not answering me. Michael grabbed me and said, he's not breathing. I panicked and ran upstairs. She said she called 911 on her fiance's phone to help him administer CPR. Very believable. I thought she was honest. You know, she admitted to what she did and she said what she didn't do. So I don't, I don't think there was any indicia of her lying at all. The only problem is sometimes she just would go on and on and on, but she's nervous. She's not a professional witness. So. On Wednesday, Polina takes the stand again, but this time will not be questioned by her attorney. She'll be questioned by prosecutors in cross-examination. They've been making a really strong case against her, and that is expected to continue with them questioning her directly starting Wednesday morning.